Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint faces. It's the second one of the series, so hopefully you'll find this one useful too. If you'd like to support me, you can like, comment and subscribe to the channel, or you can visit the Coffee and Patreon pages linked below. Now on to the video. So this is the face that we're going to be working on today, so I'll be giving you some techniques on doing that little wound over the eyes, the skin, the skin tones, the teeth and the eyes. So hopefully this will prove quite useful for you. The first colour we're going to use is Citadel Casachan Flesh. We're just going to base the whole of his skin with that colour. Next we're going to be using a little bit of Iron Hand Steel from Citadel. Just going to do all of the metallic parts around the back of his head and covering one of his ears. Now I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Mephist on red. And this is going to be to do the inside of his mouth and to do a tiny little line where that wound is going over his eye. Like so. Now I'm going to use the first of the shades and it's going to be Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to do all of the metallics and also the skin too. Now it's time for some Carrowberg Crimson from Citadel. I'm just going to use this to do the wound on the head and also his mouth. Now we're going to return to Citadel Catachan Flesh. We are going to use this to reapply the colour to the head. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a Army Painter Wargamer character brush and I'm just Reapplying this, trying to pick out the details and leave the null oil in the recesses. So you can see here that around the cheeks, I'm doing the mainly the top of the cheeks, the side of the cheeks, leaving the underside shaded. I'm doing that little crease down the side of the eyes and the brows, and then the wrinkles on his head too. You've also got those creases down the side of the face and the side of the nose as well. So just make sure you leave the shade in the recesses and pick out those details. You can get those colours back on nice and easy. Next colour we're going to use is Citadel Mournfang Brown. I'm going to use this to highlight the areas that we've just used the Cathachan Flesh on. So say when you've done that top lip there, you want to be doing the area that will be catching the most light with the Mournfang Brown. The same with the areas sort of like round the cheeks as well. So you've done like say the top half of the cheek with the Catachan Flesh. You're now going to do the top quarter of the cheek with the Mournfang Brown. You're going to try and highlight those creases on his head too. And highlight all the other little details, covering maybe about 50% of the previous layers. I'm using a stupidly thin brush to do the top of his head here, so don't bother doing that. Once you get to the top of his head where it's pretty smooth, get a different brush and just do that in a one rather than about 5,000 goes with this little piddly brush. Now I'm adding some Citadel Balor Brown to the Mournfang Brown just to lighten it and give us a final highlight colour. And this is ideal for painting on the top edges and things like that and picking out all the details and just giving that final little highlight to the skin. It maintains that nice skin tone and gives it a nice highlight without lighting it more than it needs to be. And it also brings out all those details. It looks nice once it's dried and once it's been varnished too. So once again, you're going to be highlighting the top edges. So you're doing about 50% of the areas where you did the Mournfang Brown, and you're just going to be doing it on the areas that be picking up the most light.
got a really good quick layer here. We're going to use a little bit of Citadel Pink Horror and we're just going to paint his tongue with that. Now we're going to use some Citadel Iron Hand Steel. I'm just going to touch up those areas where we had the Nuln Oil. Now you can see on the top of his head there, it looks a little bit like he's got very, very light brown hair. So I do touch that up in a moment just to get that so it's not quite as bright on the top by using a little bit of Mornfang Brown there. Now I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Leo Model Air Chrome just to highlight all these metallic edges just to make those stand out, get a nice little bit of highlighting going on there, and that will make them look like there's a bit of shine where the light's catching the edges of the metals. Now I'm going to be using Vallejo White to do his eyes and his teeth, but whichever white you use usually will be fine. I'm going to be using the Army Painter Insane Detail Brush, which is nice and thin. You can see here all I'm doing is got a little bit of white on the brush and I'm just dragging it down in a vertical motion over each tooth using the very tip of the brush just so we don't get the paint covering more than one tooth if you do it doesn't really matter too much you can just get a little bit of a shade or something like that and get that in the right place so I've done both of his eyes dragging the brush from by the nose to the outside of the head which is the best way so you don't get any paint on the nose I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Vallejo black or whichever black you use and we are just going to do a little spot in each eye. Obviously if you're doing the eyes and you get them wrong you can go back do them again, it doesn't really matter too much. We are now going to use a little bit of Vallejo white which has been sitting in my wet palette for a few days so it's gone really runny. I'm just going to use that to go over the top of that pupil, make it look like he's slightly blind in one eye there. Got some sort of eye damage. Now I'm going to use some Vallejo Red Wash. I'm going to use this around the wound on his head, around all the metal parts on the sides of his face, around the two service studs in his brow. I'm also going to put a little bit of this onto his lips as well, as it'll give them a slightly red colour without making it look like he's wearing lippy. Final thing we are going to do is use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. We're just going to put a tiny little spot of this onto each of the service studs. Once you've done that, the head is complete. Really pleased with how this one turned out, so hopefully there's been some useful techniques and things on this video for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, you can like, comment and subscribe or you can visit our coffee and Patreon pages linked below. Thanks very much.